Hi there Trax owners, today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2017 Chevrolet Trax. Here we've got our two best options out. They are both from Takancha and the real big thing here is determined on which vehicle you have. If you've got a Trax that is an LS edition, then you'll want to use our harness here on the left. If you have a Trax that's an LT or any other model, you'll want to use the harness here on the right. The only difference between these two modules is the connectors that come included that will plug into the factory connectors on your vehicle. You can see the LS models here where it has prongs on the outside to release one end of the connector and then it's got the large clip here where it clips onto the LS on your vehicle. But here you can see the connectors on our other module. And this is what all of your other tracks are going to be using. You can see they're vastly different. So the main importance is to determine which model tracks you have before placing your order. If you need some assistance doing so, you can refer to your local dealership. But besides that, they're going to be completely the same. They're both going to provide a four pole flat trailer connector at the end. That's going to give you all of your necessary lighting, which includes your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps and brake lamps. They'll both be module protected. So we'll have a module here and it will use these connectors here to monitor the outputs from your vehicle. It will then produce its own lighting signal for your trailer on the four pole connector. And what's nice about that is that if we have any faults on our trailer, it's not going to affect any of the wiring on our vehicle. The module will then shut that down because it's monitoring the outputs here. Or if in the event that it's unable to shut it down in time, we have a dedicated power circuit for our module and this is what's producing the signals going to our trailer. There is a fuse harness that comes with each of these to ensure that your power circuit stays protected. So the fuse will just open. You can then make the repairs on your trailer, replace the fuse, and your wiring is back up and running again. And so what this means for you is that you can feel safe that no matter what dilapidated trailer you're gonna hook up, it's not going to affect any of the wiring on your vehicle. We've got an LS Trax right here that we've just completed the install on. We store it in the compartment under here. And I like to use the dust cap to keep it all together. But when you're ready to use it, you simply drape it out the back here. And I like that it's stored inside the vehicle because it protects it against the elements when you're not using it. It's not gonna cause any damage to it. If you close it into your lift gate like that, the weather stripping's nice and soft and keeps it in place. Just make sure you avoid the striker in the middle. We can then hook up to our trailer and we're ready to hit the road. And that will complete our look at the best wiring options for your Chevrolet Trax.